Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm gonna to talk to you all about floor drains. We're gonna talk about why they back up, why you've got this clean out bypass, what it means if you have a missing clean out plug, how to fix it, all that fun stuff, and we're gonna get it all done in a short amount of time. So I'll tell you this, floor drains mystify people. I did a blog post on floor drains back in 2009 and to date it's one of my most popular blog posts with some of the most comments from people who are just befuddled by floor drains backing up and what to do about them and why is it a problem. So I thought why don't I just take a floor drain and show you what they're all about and take some of the mystery out of it. So here's a floor drain. This is the whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle and what you get to see at your own house is typically just this. All you get to do is look down at the grate. But let's pop that grate off. I already loosened it so I could get it with my fingers. Otherwise, I would not be able to get it started. I started with the screwdriver. So I'll take that grate cover off and here's what you get to see. You just get to see the bowl of the floor drain. Now, a floor drain is typically gonna be the lowest plumbing fixture in the home. So if you've got a clog in the drain line downstream somewhere between your house and the street and you're running water at one of the upper fixtures, say draining a bathtub, if you've got a clog, water is not going to get through that main line, but it is going to come out somewhere and it's going to be at the lowest fixture, which is always going to be the floor drain. That's why your floor drain backs up. It's not that you have a problem with the floor drain. It's just that it happens to be the lowest fixture. I had a good example of that once where there was a house that had a problem with the main drain line. It didn't have a floor drain, but when I came downstairs to the basement bathroom, I saw in the sink there was a bunch of black gunk in the, in the sink bowl that wasn't there when I first went through the house. So I repeated my test. I filled up the bathtub with water upstairs. I drained the bathtub and then I came downstairs and I witnessed all of this water backing up into the sink bowl. And this was all happening simply because they had a clog in the main line. If there was a floor drain, water would have been backing up out of the floor drain, but there wasn't, so it just backed out of the lowest plumbing fixture, which was the sink. So that's why water backs up out of floor drains. It's not a problem with your floor drain. Back to the floor drain itself. If you've got a clog in the line somewhere downstream from the floor drain, if the floor drain ain't draining, well, they've got this extra thing here called a bypass or a clean out hole and the idea is that it's, it's kind of difficult to take a drain auger and stick it through this trap this is a plumbing trap just like any other fixture has it's there to prevent sewer gas from coming into your house the idea is it's difficult to take a drain auger and stick it through that trap and push it to get your clog cleared out so you've got this extra thing that goes over the trap so you can bypass the trap entirely all you got to do is remove your clean out plug take this thing out of here and now you can stick something in there can you see that you can bypass your trap and you can take a drain auger and clean out the drain that way and then the most important thing when you're done you take your plug and you put it back in place because as long as this plug is removed you're going to have stinky hazardous sewer gas coming into your house. That's bad news. You don't want that. So be sure to put the plug back in place. Now, if you've got a situation where the floor drain isn't working and it's a problem with the trap itself, well, then try cleaning the trap out. Now to know whether it's a problem with the trap or it's a problem downstream, what we like to do as home inspectors, I like to look at the water level. Now, if I see the water level, is right here at the clean out hole, it means that we've got a clogged trap. If, if the water level is down low, then the trap is properly functioning. You know what? Let's head down to my basement and let, let's do a quick little example. We'll, we'll do a little test and I'll show you the difference there. So here we've got a properly functioning floor drain. As you can see, I have removed the clean out plug to demonstrate what it looks like if you approach a floor drain and it doesn't have that clean out plug in place. I'm gonna take some water and I'm gonna pour it in here. And you'll notice that the water is staying several inches, well, maybe a couple of inches below the clean out plug. It never actually approaches that. And that's because the floor drain is working the way that it should. But if we were to plug 
the bottom hole of this. I'm just going to throw something in there. We'll give this a uh, little turn or two just to hold that in place. Now this simulates a clogged drain. And we're, we're pretending like th th there's, there's concrete in the bottom of the drain or something like that. Now, when I pour water into here, we're going to see that the water is going to stay at the bottom of the clean-out hole. And it remains at that height. And you can pretend like there's no plug in here. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to stay right there. So if I see a, a drain and that water level is right at the bottom of this clean-out hole, I know that it has a clogged drain. But if I see a drain with a missing clean-out plug and the water level is way down there, I may just pour some water in there to test it out, and if water stays at that level, I can feel pretty confident that we have a properly functioning drain, and it's not reliant on the clean-out hole to drain things. And then the fix would simply be put the clean-out plug back in place. Okay, so now you should understand what those two different water levels indicate. And, you know, it, as, a, as a home inspector, if I come across a floor drain with a missing clean-out plug, my question is always, why is it missing? What was going on? It's, it, it's typically going to be one of two things. One is they had a clog, someone cleared the clog out, and they forgot to replace the clean-out plug. Or two, you have a problem with this trap, and the only way that that floor drain is going to drain is by leaving this plug removed. I had a family member who had purchased a home, and the city was making her fix a bunch of these required repair items for a certain municipality. And I was over there trying to help her fix fix a bunch of this stuff and one of them was the floor drain it wasn't draining right so i tried everything in my power to get that floor drain to work properly I, I took a drain auger i tried a chisel in here to try to get it to work and in the end it turned out that somebody had poured concrete into this floor drain or maybe tile grout or something like that maybe some leftover mortar whatever it was it was rock hard and there was no cleaning it out, and the fix was to replace the floor drain. And that's a big deal, because I had to get a sledgehammer, break up all the concrete around it, dig all the dirt out around it, and then cut the pipe that was going into the floor drain, get a new floor drain, just like this, connect that to the old pipe, put all the dirt back in, and pour new concrete. That's a big deal. It's a big project to replace a floor drain. So, as a home inspector, when we see a missing clean-out plug, that's kind of what we think. We say, hmm... Why is the plug removed? Is this floor drain functional? And you, you'll probably never know for sure until you replace the cleanup plug and you test the drain to make sure that it's draining properly. But as I demonstrated in my video, if you pour some water in there and you see that the water never reaches the cleanout hole, it's probably a good indication that the trap is functional and all you gotta do is replace the cleanout plug. Now, if the threads are all nastified, if, if they're all gross and you, you can't get a, a nice clean little plug like this back into place, don't worry, it's not a big deal. There's a simple fix for that. All you gotta do is, where did I put it? You gotta get a clean out plug that has a rubber core like this and, and basically you just tighten this thing down, you give that a bunch of twists and it expands this rubber and it fills those holes, the, it, excuse me, it fills the clean out hole really nicely. I'll uh, put an example of that here. I'll just shove that all the way in here and it gets pretty tight in there. And then as I give this a bunch of twists, it starts to really tighten down on, to the point where that's, that's airtight, it's, it's watertight, there's nothing coming out of there. That's a good seal. And as I showed in that previous video, when I was down in my basement, there's more than one type of clean-out plug. This is the one I was using in my basement where we use a hex wrench and we tighten this down. I kind of like this one because it's nice and it sits nice and flush, but whatever. There's, there's a bunch of them out there. That is a perfectly acceptable way to fix a missing clean-out plug. Okay, I think I've covered everything that I said I was going to cover. I hope this takes some of the mystery out of floor drains. And if there's anything I did miss, leave a comment on my video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.